Good morning everyone. Today we are in my art room. Well, what I call the art room. Most of my, well actually I always call it the place where the magic happens. Even though I film on my kitchen table. So here is the, um, the rub-ons and the photo corners that um, I put in here. Well, that's been sitting there forever and I just upgraded it or kind of added to it. Oh, and look at here. The back of my cube unit does not have a back. So, <laughs> huh, now it just makes me wonder what else is sticking out back there. But, um, so anyway, you've already seen all my papers. This is where I keep my mente and the chippies because that's my, my favorite. And then I have um, some other favorites here and also some chipboard stickers, I think. Yeah, that just haven't, they're not finished yet. And then I um, do have some new things here or some things that I want to use maybe for um, the collection obsession. And then I have... Let's see, I have the farmhouse. This was the new category that I made when I started through papers. And then I have my color category. And then I have my solids, the card stocks. And then I have here um, my um, things that I'm to fussy cut. And then I have some, actually some page kits that I've put here. And if, and also some paper pads that I haven't, well, I've torn them, torn them down. I just haven't used them, so I just thought I'm going to keep them in a bag for right now. And then I have some things that are smaller, but they're like, I think this is a 7x7. Seven seven. Um, these are maybe 8x8s, eight eight, and so they don't fit anywhere else, so they're in here. And then I have my scraps. And then down here I have my specialty papers, but I'm going to cover this up for a second because I'm going to walk back down here. Here's where I have baby, birthday, crafting, documenting, and, and then I go through my whole theme category, which I've actually told you. So, um... And I can list my categories down below of this video too. So those are all here. I mean, I still have, I still have a little bit of room, but it's getting pretty tight. Here's up in the mint section. And I did pre-order some mint, so um, I'm sure that that will be full by the time I'm done. Um, this down here is the categories that I was just showing you. But I jumped back up to the top. Sorry about that. And so all this is pretty tight. I mean, it's like when I moved into this cube unit, I had things over here just to hold up the paper. And um, so that is, um, it's staying up now by itself because I have so, so much paper now. But, oh, I do have over here in my, my scraps, I do have these things that hold things up. And down here, my specialty, I have them, things holding up here. Do I have something I didn't tear apart? Oh, it's a Christmas thing. Okay, I have over here my knockout punches. They're border punches. They do not fit where I have my other ones. Whoops. I don't want to pop that open. <laughs> okay, I better squeeze that in there because it's not closed. And then I have some extra white cardstock that I've just stuck back here because I didn't have any place to put it. I didn't want to stick it in with my other papers. Okay, and then here is where I've got all my punches. And I can stand back and kind of show you the whole deal here. So I've got the Martha Stewart ones on the top. And then, you know, just as they would fit there. Um, this was something that my mom had given me. Down here is a drawer and that holds the tiny ones. And then my small hexagon punch all fit in there. 
And then up on the top of my eight unit cube, I have my husband and I, and then um, it's like when he was younger, I was younger before we met, and then I have a combined one here. And then I have some other stuff over here that is um, just like I have some old pictures, like really old pictures of him that I don't think they fit in there and that's come there there. And um, my kits I made up, I had the Jen Hadfield collections I had or made um, the kits. I took photos of them so I'd kind of know what was in them. Um, this was a project I did for my grand twins um they're what is it like a i want to say nursery school it's a preschool and so i made this cover for them it's all paper pieced and then i have my mannequin who i call molly <laughs> and and then the hand I, I just call them all molly parts and i used to have a lot of hands but i only had one hand from when i made jewelry and i did craft shows and I have a lamp up there because my light is not very bright. I have my um, my flags in there. I just got some scrap ribbon there. I have an album that I made here, Graphic 45. And then these are all my little um, wood veneer pieces. And back there I have some Mente chalk paints. I have my little dividers here that I use, the little three dividers, and then I have this little wooden thing that I have some, I really don't want that there because I I don't find this to look very bad, And but it's like this just seems like it's just too much, but I've got little tiny things in there and so they're going to stay there until I can get them in my cabinet. I do have some twine up in there and there and then there, that's just a little thing I had there that I made. Okay, now I'm going to bring you down. Okay, this is an old chest of drawers that my husband had. It's super sturdy and that's what all my paper is sitting on. And I, I feel pretty safe with that <laughs> being on top of there just because it is like this super heavy duty um, dresser. And these two here, the first two have um, just pictures in them, like family pictures, like um, for, of my husband's or mine, like um, cousins, nieces, nephews. Um, it's like right now I just have too many grandkids to scrap those. And here I have, well, I, I have like a rose gold pen. I have some stickles and things like that in here and but you know it's like you've seen how much um, mixed media I do here's where I keep my overflow of glue and then here's where I keep my overflow of tape and dimensionals and here's my um, last month it was my collection obsession I still haven't finished with the grandkids um, Disney things pictures so it's like I'm still leaving that there I'm gonna cover it up a little bit so it's not a shock um, up here is the boxes of pictures it's so funny because when Alex was here she's like why is Brenna's right there like hanging like that and I said because it's too full and I can't put anything on top because I'm afraid I'll smash your pictures because <laughs> they were um, holding the lid up. Okay, and here I have my rubber stamps and here I have my dies and um, and I oh and I also have rubber stamps back here that are on blocks and I know it's pretty hard to see but I only have like a half a shelf of those. And here are all my little books of mint papers. And then um, this is what I have just kind of made because I had um, did all that shopping at Tuesday morning. But I also have brads in here that I had before. Um, I have um, the foam simple story stickers here 
my flare is back there and then this again is one of those things that I've just filled up really since I did the last Tuesday morning the last two Tuesday morning um, hauls and up here is my other um, six by six and that's all I have of the six by six besides the mintes. Um, these two boxes here have ribbon. There's my other brads. Um, I have my punch samples in there. And then I have some bottle caps. And then I have some sketches there. This is sequins. And this is my little um, arrows that I made. Oh, and in here is other little stamps that I collected and they're just like loose stamps um, right there is those letters that um, were too big to fit into that container these boxes here I picked them up at um, Ikea I actually went there that day to buy them but I really wanted white or black but I got multicolor, which I was trying to get, you know, less color in this room. And then I had these from Ikea previously, these little metal ones. And I actually thought I would empty those and have them all in there, but I still have some stuff in there too. And then I have jewelry stuff down there because I make jewelry. I made jewelry before I started scrapbooking. Okay, and here is where I keep, well, I actually put my washi strips in here the other day because I didn't know what to do with them. But these here are pretty much minte, um, the elements that you cut out from the front sheet. And so that's what's, this one's almost gone. But that's what I have in here. And so... Um, actually, if I want to know what's in a Minte kit to see if it's going to work with my photos, I usually come over here and look through this because I can kind of get a good idea before I go actually to my Minte stuff. And this was a rack that I got from my husband's mom that I used to actually have all the stuff for um, wrapping my jewelry. And I'm sorry, I'm kind of in a corner. <laughs> so you really hard to move back here so I had like that kind of stuff in it so it's got some odds and ends but most of it's scrapbooking stuff and this is an island well I kind of made it into an island oh maybe it was an island I don't know I bought it at a garage sale and so it's got cabinets and it's got drawers in it and this here is some stuff I actually found just before I was going to start filming that I need to put away and then a um, kit that I'm working with, the Asuka Enjoy the Ride. And I'm going to do some pictures of the twins when they were at a fair, a farm fair. Okay, this here, and I haven't looked in here to see if it was really messy, but um, this is my punch board. Another punch board, the We Are Memory Keepers. Um, and here's my creative memory circle cutter and the templates for it. So that's where I keep that. And here is, um, here's where I keep my, my little tool kit. Um, I used to have my brads in here, so I actually, I think I have some eyelets in here. And I have another bag of eyelets that um, somebody had just given me. And so that's what's in here. And then I have one thing, a flare. So I need to actually put that away. See, I didn't even know it was in this one. <laughs> and, um, and this here is, it's like I have mounting squares. I have, oh, I guess I have extra dimensionals in here. And then I had tape in here. Because this is kind of where I actually worked from before. But since I've been filming, I'm out at the table. So this is what my island looks like if when you come in the door. And over here you can see my jewelry mess. 
and I have my die cut machine and I've only had the die cut machine I think for two years and um, so it's like I don't have a whole lot of dies and here's my little um, I want to say a carousel I guess it is a carousel so I don't have really kind of see what's in it I have some other little things down in there um, that I might use sometimes but um, I don't have too many things in there I but I've got my the crocodile punches in there okay and this is where I was keeping the Jen Hadfield collections that I had um, made kits with and so this was full so I actually have this empty now because I was able to get them into my um, cube unit and here's um, those big black boxes they have um, oh my hands get sore they have things in them that like memorabilia which um, I realize I just don't even get them into my scrapbook so I'm going to try to get all the kids to take their stuff. <laughs> and um, let me come around to the other end. I'm going to cover up the screen again. So um, that's what I have there. I have one for me and my husband. Oh, and if I have like 8x10s of the kids, they will be in there. But I've been trying to scrapbook those right along too. These are my theme binders. And um, I have Disney, fairies, mermaids, Wizard of Oz. So just um, all the different things that you can imagine as themes. And they're all pretty full. And then I have one that has color things in it. And then down here I have, hopefully I didn't move that too fast, I have some cards that I've made that's in this really cute drawer I just love this I got it one year um, I got a gift card for Christmas and I purchased that when it was on sale um, this is where I put my words the other day that I sorted through here's another one of those things I just had since <laughs> the Tuesday morning haul um, I do have some little um, what is it composition notebooks but they're empty I used to make things out of them I have two things I did not put away and then there's my letters that I showed you the other day and then I have um, I actually have some larger photos here that I have not put away and one great big thing of giant letters I mean these are like three inches <laughs> and then I have some trays that I was hoping I could use but I end up putting them there and it's like I keep forgetting that they're there and a book that I made to actually put cards in so I'd remember to send them out oh and now I gotta use my hip to push it back in because I got the camera in my hand <laughs> oh maybe I won't be pushing them back in okay let me try it again okay had to use a knee <laughs> And then I have some fabrics that I printed on in there and um, I've got some just cardboard there because I was actually using cart oh and I an album here that for me and my husband um, I actually had cardboards holding up my scrapbook paper and then I'm gonna go kind of quickly buy my all, all my jewelry stuff but that's what's on this side of the room then I got a lamp here and here's the window and here's my guillotine cutter it it's pretty old I mean I've had it for years and so it doesn't really cut straight so I usually use the Fiskars and I do have some stencils in here um, this is a hole this in my desk this um, this was a desk for a kitchen and I bought this also at a garage sale when I bought the cabinet and my grandkids come and see see this and they said oh we gave you that how come you didn't paint it <laughs> and let's see I have oh I think I have nothing in there what do I have in here I have something in here oh I think I have like little mirrors and glass things in there yeah okay 
that was when I was wanting to do um, mixed media things. So I really haven't messed with that much. Did make this little mirror. And here's where I hang my stuff up after I make it. And so these were the ones that I've done in the last few days. And then um, I have this here. I say if anything that hangs on that, it's like sometimes I'll hear stuff fall and I'll have to find it in here. This is, I just keep like um, my cards for my jewelry in here. And I keep my wax paper in here. And then I have um, some floor plans in here because I was a, de well, I actually, I guess I'm still a designer. I just really only do it for friends and family. <laughs> And here's my Fiskars cutter. I do have an old time Cricut. And um, and I do have a few cartridges, but it's not something I, I want to continue buying. And I have this here that I just kind of throw stuff in every now and then. I have some rulers here. And this is that one thing that um, I cleaned out that one day. And then I have a little Tim Holtz guillotine cutter. And I have a piece of granite that it's like that one day I had to use it to flatten out that paper I got all wet. And, oh, let me move back again. Okay, and then this is a frame I made. It has um, Graphic 45 World's Fair. There it is. And I'm going to move again. <laughs> and here's Graphic 45. I think it was Couture. I think that's what it mostly was on there. And so I made that. And then I have my arrow, my giant arrow that I made for a demonstration. <laughs> so I got that sitting on top of it. But um, I just made the little art thing to have it in here because I always call it the art room. And I have another lamp over here because I tell you my... The lamp I had him put in the ceiling is not <laughs> not really um, working well. And this is where I keep my washi. Um, I have still a little bit more room in here. Um, I bought some of this washi on Amazon, and you don't get very much in that, but it's it's real pretty. And then um, so here's the other ones. Some of this I think this is Martha Stewart. Um, tape, but it's fabric and it want, doesn't want to fit in there really good. And it was sliding back and forth, so I um, put some little cardboard in there and folded it, or actually cardstock. Here's another little thing I covered with the World's Fair thing, and it's blue, that's why I was kind of loving that. Here's my weather vane. And it means it's a nice day because the lady's out. Oh, I didn't even have the camera up. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> I hope I'm pointing things in the right direction because, like, I'm not even, I wasn't even paying attention. Here's where it's like I just I got a piece of fabric in there that I'm hoping I can find. I'm hoping I can find some fabric like that blue there for my kitchen. So I've got, like, extra little um, sticky note papers in there. Um, some command strips in there. I got my Martha Stewart scoreboard over here and um, these leather, letter, they're thicker. Um, you put the, your thicker letters on there like a guide. It actually works really good. I just forget that I have it. And here's where, um, right here I have some projects that I'm kind of collecting things for. Like um, I have some pictures of the grandkids, the grand twins, that they were doing cookies, and so I have this ribbon, and then I have some paper started, where I just haven't got everything that I wanted for the project yet. Um, here's the um, things that I've done this month. Um, here's some other stuff I was I'm working on, same as that, and. Um, here's some photos that these are the photos of the Grand Twins from Disney that I haven't um, finished yet. And then I have little things up here. I've got some pens. 
I got scissors here, so it's all like little stuff. Oh, I that's where my embossing powders are. <laughs> and then those things that I showed you the other day um, that I printed out, I just got them sitting out there. And here's my inks. These are all the inks I have right now. So I have 12, 13, 14, 15, and these. And then that undo. And then I have samples of the inks. Well, most of them I think I have some that I haven't done yet. Okay, I'm going to move down. And here's where I keep my twine and any strings that I would use. And there's stuff back there too. And then I have some bunch of pens here. My daughter gave me a bunch. She bought a big lot of it. So I have some there that I haven't even opened. This um, is a file drawer down here. I used to have stuff in it. It's kind of just got um, kind of junk in it. And I saved like warranties or instructions from things down in that one. Uh, this is um, a design tabletop thing. And then there's the stuff that my daughter gave me that I need to organize. And there's some jewelry stuff that um, I just have to keep for taxes and stuff. And then I have four containers of scrapbook pages there that just need to be put in books. Um, I keep some flare stuff in there that I'm working on. Um... Because, you know, I have a flare shop. And then I have some stuff down here that I need to figure out what's in here. Because I went through it the other day and found things. So, it's like, I just need to go through this because I don't even know what's in here. And I did find those, um, those words and stuff in there. So, that was helpful. So, that's where my trash is. I think I've kind of gone through the whole room now. And... So, I'll just stand back so you can kind of see the whole room. And so, I'm, it's like a, you know, it's one of those things, you know, it's always in flux of <laughs> being a mess or being picked up. And, oh, I do have things in the cabinets, but they're, they're still pretty messy. And my closet is a nightmare. Maybe I should show it to you so you can see what it looks like. But yeah, no, it's too frightening. Every time I look at it, I want to scream. <laughs> so that's it. Um, this is not where I film. It's like I just get everything ready in here and then I go and film on the table. Um, it's like if I could get everything set up in here, I would like to film in here. But after I stand here getting everything ready, it's like to stand and film here is just more than what I want to do. <laughs> so I do like to be able to sit down during part of it. So so that's it for today. Um, now you see the whole, the whole mess. <laughs> Actually, it's not too bad. Sometimes it looks worse. Sometimes I have this completely covered. So I'm glad it looks a little better today. But it's not perfect. But it probably never will be. So thanks for joining me. Have a wonderful day. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.